Did you know that e-commerce sellers who sell on three or more channels generate on average 143% more revenue than those who only sell on one or two channels? I'm Manuela with Politix. Today, I'm going to break down what multi-channel commerce is and the pros and cons of taking on this strategy so that you can decide if it's the right move for your business. If you're new to our channel, be sure to subscribe for more e-commerce tips. Multi-channel commerce refers to selling goods and services on more than one sales channel. Now, a sales channel can be a physical store, or since we're specifically talking about e-commerce, it can be a marketplace like Amazon, eBay, or Walmart, or a web store that's hosted on a platform like Shopify, BigCommerce, or Magento, just to name a few. You can look at some well-known companies like Apple and Nike as an example of multi-channel sellers. Nike, for example, has its own web store where you can make purchases, but you can also find Nike products on Amazon and on other marketplaces, as well as on their resellers' web stores. But multi-channel commerce isn't limited to big enterprises. There are many benefits to selling on multiple channels. It can increase your revenue, no matter how big your business is. In fact, the revenue increase that I mentioned at the beginning of this video is even greater when you're looking at only small inventory sellers. These sellers, which Sellbrite defines as sellers with less than 706 products, average 158% higher revenue when they sell on more than two channels. When you sell on multiple channels, you're also developing brand awareness for your business partly because you're getting more eyes on your products by putting your products in front of a wider audience, and partly because buyers are more likely to trust companies that sell on channels that they already trust. Let's say you're a fairly new company. I may have never heard of you before, so I would be a bit wary of purchasing directly from your website, especially in this day and age where scams are so common. So I decide to use good old Google to do some research, and I see that your product is also sold on a well-known marketplace. And I think to myself, okay, at least I know that I'll have some buyer protection if I buy from there. So that might be my first option, at least until I receive your product and see that I had nothing to worry about in the first place. Then I'd be more willing to buy directly from your store. Thing is, I'm not alone in thinking this. A Raymond James study showed that 52% of people said that Amazon was their first choice for product searches. A separate study showed that 46% of buyers would buy from a marketplace brand or seller that they've never heard of before. Another benefit of increasing the number of channels that you sell on is making the most bang for your buck. Now, what I mean here is that some of the costs of starting an e-commerce business are fixed and there isn't too much extra monetary investment involved if you want to add a sales channel. You've already got the tools, the fertilizer, and the garden tilled. All you need to do is add new seeds. Not to mention that diversifying your sales channels reduces the risks associated with selling on just one channel. So let's say your web store breaks. If you have an additional sales channel, then you can refer buyers to that channel while you work on fixing your main web store. If a marketplace you sell on has been involved in a scandal or for some reason suspends your account or makes a policy change that in turn affects your business, it'll suck, but it won't break your business because you have another channel that you can count on. On the other hand, adopting a multi-channel strategy isn't all rainbows and butterflies. And there are a few things that you should consider first. First, think carefully about which channels you want to expand to and whether it's relevant for your business. While you can, of course, sell your products on whatever channel you want, you should really think about where your sales would perform best. For example, if you sell electronics, then Amazon might be worth considering, but it also has a lot of competition. If you're selling baby products, you might wanna give walmart.com a try. If you want a comparison between selling on Amazon or on walmart.com, then be sure to check out our video that compares the two marketplaces. Another thing to be wary of is potential conflict between your sales channels. You wanna be careful so that they're not competing with each other. This can happen when there are more benefits associated with buying from one sales channel than from another. For example, a customer might want to buy in store because they can have the benefit of speaking to an expert and having their questions answered in the moment or they may prefer to buy online due to free shipping or home delivery. To offset these differences, you can include things like an FAQ section or a chat bot in your e-commerce platform. You can ensure that warranties and guarantees are constant and other things like that. Additionally, you'll want to consider the time investment that you'll need to make to succeed on an additional sales channel. You'll need someone to set up the new channel, preferably someone with experience in that channel, and you'll need to constantly monitor it. Now, one of the biggest mistakes that we see businesses make when adding a sales channel to their e-commerce business is not taking the time to optimize the content for that channel. The thing is, 
and this can be a little bit tricky, you need to keep your product listings and your brand image consistent throughout your different sales channel in order to give your customer a positive shopping experience while also making your product listings unique for each channel. Having unique listings can help in the SEO ranking of your product. Not to mention that most platforms have their own unique requirements for how to list products. In short, you can't take all of your product information that you have on your website and upload it as is to Amazon or another marketplace. That being said, there are tools that can help you manage your product information to ensure optimal product listings on all of your channels. PIM or product information management tools like Plytics provide a centralized place for you to manage all of your data, making it easier to modify specific product attributes to fit your channel's requirements. Having a system like this can save you hours of work and can set you up for further scaling your business. If you want to ditch the spreadsheets and begin setting your business up for scaling, then click on the link that I've added in the description to get started with Plytix PIM for free. And now before I go, I'd love to know which channels are you selling on or would you like to expand into? Let me know in the comments below. And if there's anything else that you want to know about multi-channel e-commerce, then ask away. If you enjoyed this video, then give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. <clears throat> Another benefit of increasing the number of channels you sell on is making the most bang for your buck. Now what I mean. <laughs>